Okay, it's uh, 930 on Tuesday, July 18th. We're gonna call the uh, select meeting of the select board to order. Uh, first thing is additions and deletions. Uh, so there's a few, uh, I'd like to add a discussion uh, today. I'd um, like to add um, a discussion of closing bus or roads uh, with Mark Hunter being here. Um, discussion with the TTC. Um, and then also a discussion about supply and vacation time. Okay. A lot, so I apologize, but <laughs> a lot there. Um, citizens' comments? They've seen none. Uh, manager's report. Okay, so uh, a few things. Um, Um, so obviously everyone knows what's going on uh, with the storm we had last week and um, the current situation we are with water. Um, the aqueduct now has the piping um, on site. They're working today to connect uh, the correct piping uh, that the state requires. Um, when that is installed and the water is flowing appropriately through it, they will get numerous uh, testing for bacteria. They will submit that testing and what once that testing comes back clean in 24 hours, the state told us they will lift not only the no drink order, but also the no boil order. Um, so at that point, Woodstock will have clean water to drink and to use. Um, because of the um, water breaks, we're still gonna ask people to conserve water, uh, be mindful of how they use the water until we have adequate water up in the tanks. Um, there is, Still uh, about 10 pallets of water at the ESV building. If anyone needs water still, they can get uh, water there. Uh, today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have um, various state agencies uh, from the state of Vermont at the high school uh, providing assistance to residents. So anyone who's been impacted by the flood uh, can go there. They're there uh, supposedly eight to four the next three days. Um, today, FEMA is there, a representative from FEMA uh, as uh, residents of the Red Cross as well. Um, I have yet to confirm if FEMA and Red Cross will be there Wednesday and Thursday. Um, ideally, they will be. Um, but when I talked to them this morning, their supervisor was not on site, so they could not confirm they'll be there the following days. Um, I apologize for the short notice, but I, I did not know FEMA was going to be there until I showed up this morning on site. Um, but if anyone has any issues or needs someone to talk to, there will be people there that can help. Um, the high school does have um, hockey camp going on. So there will be people, you know, in the parking spots. Um, so if you do show up, it may not be long lines, maybe just the hockey kids there um, playing hockey. So don't be deterred by that. Um, with the storm damage, I just want to publicly thank again, the DPW uh, director, Mark Hunter and his crew, uh, Chief Green, his crew, um, Chief Bush and now Chief Swanson and their crew uh, working uh, nonstop the last eight, nine days to make sure all the roads were open, that residents were safe, um, that there was water available, uh, and then try and get all messages as quickly as possible. Uh, their help has been invaluable in putting Woodstock in the best position possible uh, after what we experienced. Um, I also want to thank all the businesses and residents, there's too many names who have come out and supported uh, the community as best they can, offering um, free housing, places for people to cook food, uh, places for people to get water, um, and really offering to help the applications for FEMA and really just being out invisible and trying to help anyone that's been impacted um, and try to make it the best we can for people until uh, all this is solved. So my uh, thanks goes, goes to everyone in the Woodstock community um, that's been out here helping us, and uh, I really I really appreciate it. Um, Moving on from the storm, um, there are two updates I want to give. Um, I have in my session um, a letter from now Police Chief uh, Joe Swanson, um, former chair of the select board, um, submitted his resignation to the board. Um, now that he's police chief, uh, he thought it was his best interest not to hold the due roles. Um, I can pass that to uh, Boer if you want. Um, so the yes. I just got. A, I don't know why I got it, but I got a text from Terry Cole. Could you go to the? Oh, she's not. 
no, I'll do that. no one's letting people in. Yeah. Sorry, it was for me because I didn't want to get up. So oh, I left. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was for you too. Sorry. I think so. Uh, you want me to sit there? Yeah, yeah. Dave, don't mind. I'll be great. Yeah, I don't know where. I just want to carry with an on, and that was my first thought. So thank you. There may be other people waiting to get on. Oh, you can Oh, okay. So now I carry Sarah, our, our, our repeat. Um, so this morning I got a letter of resignation from uh, Joe Swanson, uh, stepping back from the select board, or stepping off the select board um, due to his new role as police chief of the Woodstock Village Police. Um, so that means uh, two things. Um, one is uh, we'll have to set the process for um, the board to uh, have a new member. Um, and also I believe the board will have to reorganize and elect a, a vice uh, chair as well. Um, but we can talk about that maybe later today in the meeting if we want. Um, the other um, update I have um, is on Friday, the staff accountant Zoe Parent gave me her resignation letter. Um, her last day will be August 4th. Uh, so it's three week notice. Um, I just wanna thank her for all the work she's done. She's done in time in uh, Woodstock and wish her the best of luck on where her next venture is. Um, so that is my manager's report. Um, any questions on that? No. Okay. Um, you have the financial report as well. Um, the fiscal year is over, but not over. Um, the last payroll has been done, um, but as we know, bills can trickle in, you know, for a month or so afterwards. Uh, but based on everything we've seen, we should be in pretty good spots uh, financially anyways uh, to end the year. Um, so that's a positive. And um, we're now on FY24 with payroll and everything else. So it's a uh, side fresh and uh, kind of go from there. Okay, thank you. Old business, the uh, school line agreement, which talks school line. Yep, so this is supposed to be covered uh, in the last meeting, but uh, due to uh, time constraints and lack of quorum after an hour, uh, we push it off. So this is sewer work that has to be done by uh, the Bayside Lounge down on Route 4. Um, about five, six, seven years ago, the state came in had an agreement to kind of just look at and do an assessment on what was going to happen. Uh, I believe it was around $15,000 at that point. Uh, due to the work that has to get done and that a sewer line is going to interfere with their work, um, it now has increased to about $150,000. Um, the state can uh, force us to do the work um, the way it, the way it lines up. So we're kind of in a situation where we don't have any options here. Um, the work won't start until the summer of FY24, um, but this has to be signed and sent back to the state immediately um, so they can um, start the work. The draft I have still says Town of Hartford. Um, the one I had, we, uh, you're talking. The one in our packet still says. At the, the one I printed out to Howard too, I'd ask them to change that. Let me see if I have a more updated one in okay. my email. Perfect. And I don't know if my email to him to change it came last Friday, two Fridays ago or not. So it could have been, been that issue as well. So we need a motion for this? No yeah. Okay. I would move we sign the supplementary agreement number one, provided that the third or the revision at um, the bottom of the first page is changed to Town of Woodstock and Town yes. of Hartford. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? One. There's no answer because that's not over here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. this means that. Oh, and I, just one thing about um, Mrs. Swanson, I forgot to mention. Um, he wanted to be here in person, um, but as police chief, he felt it was a duty to attend the funeral of the officer who uh, passed away last week. Uh, so he's there in his capacity as police chief of Woodstock to show the their support to Woodstock. Um, potential closure of golf Highland Road. Is there any update? We haven't heard from the town, uh, Comfort or no, no, no updates on there, and that has gone through me at least. So I think we can table that till we hear from them. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this gentleman, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, please step up and state your name. I got one there. All right. My name is Michael Doughton. I'm on the. Uh, okay. I'm sure if I'm supposed to sit at the big table here. I'm Michael Doughton, 3488 Cloudland Road in Pomfret. And um, I just wanted to let you know that we are presenting to the Pomfret Select Board tomorrow night a plan for uh, for closure of Cloudland Road and Barbary Hill Notes during the foliage season, not the whole foliage season, about three to four weeks. So we'll be presenting that plan. I don't feel like I can really say anything about the plan itself because they haven't approved anything right. yet. They haven't even actually seen it yet. But that's the update at this point. So it is moving forward. We just don't have. So once, once you folks have your plan in place, then you can come back to us. Correct. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just again, a quick statement that relates to this. Yeah. So uh, Michael and uh, well, I guess officially from the town of Pomfret has asked the EDC to consider possible grants to help pay for the project that they're thinking about. And we've communicated and told them that um, the time frame for us to consider it to fit into other things is this year, but not this month. And um, we've said that 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 we will, and we've pointed out the difficulties of the past discussions about assigning funds to other towns. Right. Yeah. But we've said that we will include it on the list of things to consider, and that it would probably be in October or November that we would consider. But this and also affects Woodstock residents at that end of Cloudland. Correct. Right? Correct. Correct. And yeah. Correct. We didn't say we wouldn't do it. Yeah. We were. I tried yeah. to be. I sent the letter to you. I tried yes. To be yeah. Be neutral and just yeah. give them the background of the yeah. discussions and said we will absolutely consider it. It's on the list of options as we do our impact of tourism analysis on Woodstock. This is now on the list of things for us to consider. Right. But I just wish that we couldn't consider it this month. We, we would have to wait. We have the letter. It'll be later in the year. All right. Well, I think. See, that, that was what that was what I said. Yeah. The, the select board. I, I, I think differently. I think that we need to see what the town of Pomfret comes up with. Then maybe, yeah. even just an emergency meeting. It, 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 I'm just telling you, absent any yeah. direction by the select board, that's what we. I just wanted you to be aware of that that, that conversation takes place. And and to that EDC funding, the uh, one piece of the closure will actually happen in stock. So it will be on the Woodstock end of Cloudland Road. Yeah. And as you noted, that would affect Woodstock residents as well. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh business request for local government certification. I'm confused by this because we did this already. Cool. Trying to find it in the package. I can't find it. It's, I don't know, midway through. <laughs> I don't have pages. It's about the um, Historic Preservation Commission, and we did one of these both for the town and for the village, and we appointed a committee. What page do you have on that? Sorry. I don't have a page. Oh, 75. Sorry, there are pages. It was submitted by, I think, Matt Powers, who's the um, director of the History Center. I don't, I guess we table it since he's not here. Well, I, we did do this. Yeah, we did. Definitely. Yeah, I think there's a question, and Nikki's not here. I think there's a question on whether it was put in there in fact or not. Thank you. Uh, if we want to move a quick out of order, maybe talk about class four roads, I'll, I'll look up the stuff on uh, the historic center. Great. Or we could just table it for the next. Yeah, we table it if you want. Yeah, let's just table it. He's not here. Um... Then the next item is the South Woodstock Wastewater Treatment Plant. Um, so this is more um, just to have a conversation about um, having a possible public forum uh, for the residents who talked about uh, the design 
of uh, the South Woods Dock Renew Plant. Um, since I've started here, there's been discussions about what's going on. We have some quotes from Daniels that I presented earlier uh, in the spring. Um, but now that the plant is kind of almost finished, um, I think the residents want to at least have a chance to discuss what they think of the current design, what they want going forward. Um, and so I think it's good to maybe have some kind of public forum where the residents can come and discuss what they want. Um, and it can be a, just a form itself with no no decision afterwards, but I think an opportunity for them to let them know to come. And also residents who may be against it and don't want to spend the money uh, can come as well and talk about it. Um, so I think with the board's permission, we can kind of organize a, some kind of um, form in the next few weeks. Sure. Yeah, that works. I would uh, offer up the South Woodstock Fire Station, but we wouldn't be able to do Zoom because the, the last time I tried to do Zoom from there, the signal wasn't strong yeah. enough. So, if we met at the fire station, yeah, we would be too thick. Um, let's see what Eric and I will work that out. We'll yeah. figure out something. Other business. Uh, so let's go in maybe order of ease. Uh, I'll start with my vacation. Um, so I was supposed to be on vacation this week. Uh, with that said, uh, my six months starts on August 1st. The personnel policy says that employees can't take a vacation until six months into their time. Um, I may try to take a day or two next week, depending on the on the water. Um, so I just want the board's approval to take vacation time next week, if possible. So moved. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, next, uh, Mark Hunter is here from the VPW uh, to talk about Class Four roads closing. I don't know if you want to. This came up. Uh, a resident talked about. Um, I think it was ATVs going through. No, there. It's um, a, a Jeep club. Oh yes. I think they are. Um, I heard through over the over the weekend they meet at a coffee shop outside of town. Um, there was roughly around forty Jeeps that um, use the class four roads in town. Um, there's one class four road in particular on the end of Arthur Morgan. Um, I have been having a hard time redirecting the road, uh, the water, sorry, that runs off of that road. Um, it runs down Arthur Morgan. Um, but the, the rain that we had last week, it was, it washed out the whole, top of the road um, there there are a couple camps um, or houses on some of the class four roads so we can't um, I would like to just close them for the the Jeep club they're 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 beating the heck out of the out of the roads and um, I can't keep up with the runoff that comes out there mm -hmm. so um right now it's so wet. it's uh doing a lot of damage i think the one off eastman is yep. similarly challenged yep. yes yep so there is um there's a culvert that i need to address also yeah. uh, on that road so the hope was to close it for at least a few weeks so it dries yep. out and hopefully that the rain ho holds up and then uh, we can open them back up is there a way to phrase it that it's not just that jeep club that it's non non residents would that make sense or residents only yeah. yes residents only right that that mm -hmm. can use yeah i think that yeah makes good sense yeah yeah so i'll entertain a motion and can i just mark do you want a time frame on it or do you want on your right judgment hopefully board? uh i mean i can't predict the weather but it hopefully at some point this that the rain lets up and then uh they, they can go out there so, so I don't know if we want the motion to be that mark, a month or it can be open up under Mark's guidance. I, I, think, I think that it, makes sense. Yeah, I, you know, so I, I, I a motion to close the roads until the highway. I would just say until further notice. Yeah, no further notice. Until further yeah. notice, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right. I'm Where's the, um, the residence? There are, I know Eastman has, has a, a house or camp on there. Uh, there I mean, it's uh, people go out there with their horses or whatever. 
um, but that that Jeep Club is really doing a lot of damage on them. So 40 Jeeps, or one Jeep is probably okay, but when that whole club gets together, and there's 40 of them that go through there, they're they're they're, they're doing a lot of damage out there. Residents they they can come to that camp. Yes. Yep. Yep. So. Um, Horses would be, oh, I'm just trying to think of in South Woodstock, at least of GMHA. I don't know what kind of trail rides they have coming up, but yep. are the horses creating damage or is No, I don't, that, I don't see any damage for any of the horses. So I, the, if they have any tra trail rides coming up for the horses, the Jeep club is going to impact that. Right. So know. just motor vehicles. Right. Yes. Yeah. No non-resident motor notified. vehicles until further notice. Yes. That's right. And so they're just chains we can put up, right? Yeah, I do. There are chains. Yeah. Okay. The, there's one at the end of um, Long Hill, also. Yeah. So there, there's a couple of them. Yeah. So will somebody monitor that on the weekends to make sure they don't cut the chain. Uh, well, I can put uh, 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 we can put some signs out or, or yeah. post it on the on the just list. Or... At least know which ones are closed and have. Yeah. Yep. Check it. You know, you never know. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have both colors in my car, so <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to know why, right? <laughs> so I would, I, I, I guess we kind of made the motion. Yeah. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Um, last one is conversation with the EDC. Thanks. So, um, Eric and Ray had a conversation and Ray called me yesterday um, about an issue that the EDC was already considering, but we'll sort of formalize it based on this um, to uh, consider uh, developing a program to support local businesses who uh, who need funding as a result of the flood. Um, there is a special meeting now scheduled for Thursday night at 630. We have a quorum. Um, I've sent you the. Uh, yeah, you, you have, sorry, yeah, OK. Um, the, uh, an initial draft of the agenda. I've asked EDC members if there are other issues that they would like to have included. Um, and then we'll make a recommendation to the select board. I, I suspect the EDC will support this. This is similar to what we did during, during COVID. I suspect that in this particular case, the dynamics of the program that we would develop are somewhat different. That was a, a small, very small amount of money immediate with no criteria. <laughs> and we made it pretty clear, actually, we made it explicit at the beginning that if the financial distress continued, there would be no need for payback. We gave out 58 grants of about a total of about 58 people, organizations to about 60 or $65,000. So some of them applied twice, which we allowed. Uh, four of them paid it back. Um, uh, I don't want to put any constraints on the discussion for the EDC, but I've included my own personal initial thoughts about some of these issues. I'll just quickly go through them. Our business is in need of financial support. Probably, I say that, put that issue on the table. I don't think we'll debate it for too long, but we have gotten no requests. Uh, so, I, um, but I, I think it's reasonable to assume that some will. Who should be eligible? I, my thought is that FEMA has thought through that this program is for flood relief. FEMA has thought through what ap applies or doesn't apply. And so anyone that was eligible for FEMA, whether they received it or not, but anyone that's eligible for FEMA would be eligible for our program. That, that's a thought. Should we be considering loans or grants? Um, the EDC has already discussed this issue in general and loans are for for-profit businesses. And we've done surveys of the community <laughs> that they understand that in emergencies, loans or grants are okay, but in general, they would prefer that we not dedicate funds to for-profit businesses unless there's a public accommodation, like in return for this. It's not just that in return for this, we'll stay in business, but this is a special situation, so that wouldn't apply. So low interest loans, probably preferable to grants. What amount should be involved? I think that's unclear. It's clearly more than $1,000, which is what the, the, the COVID one was. Um, I don't know. Um, and that that question about what amount should be involved, I think, affects the answer to the next question. Should we consider applications on a rolling basis or at one time? I would suggest that if we do have a program, whether it's loans or grants, 
that we we have the program at one time you know, quickly. You know, two weeks from now, here's an application. We see what the total of the applications are and so that we can then make the right decisions rather than doing it on a rolling basis and then the people. So um, what would be the terms of the loan? It, it, again, in my view, a loan pro, it would be a loan program and it would be a bridge loan until FEMA funds become available. Um, and so we could dispense the funds immediately. We have, um, and just to, to the point that Ray, you and I briefly, I think you and Eric briefly discussed, there isn't, I don't believe there is a need, and I think it would be, I have some real concerns about putting any of the existing programs that have already been approved on hold in order to fund this. We have significant funds in the bank because we've made way significantly more grants than the grantees have called on. And they don't call on, it, 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 so we could, we could, at, we will at our meeting, I can't do it right now because it requires a fair bit of analysis, but we will in our meeting identify exactly how much funds are not yet called on and how much are likely, that are called on are likely to not be called on. I don't believe we would have to put any other programs on unless we decided to, you know, put half a million dollars into this. You know, I think if it was $100,000 or that order of magnitude, we would not have to pause any other programs. Um, so, so anyway, so that so those that's what we will consider. I also um, triggered by Eric your discussion about people appearing at the high school or wherever the agencies are going to appear. We will definitely arrange a webcast with the small business associate, small business administration, um, and promote and we'll manage. I mean. There's not much for us to do other than get the SBA to come, and maybe you could be helpful with that. We can discuss it. But that's what we did at COVID, and it was attended by a lot of business. So we'll basically, you know, I don't know, within a week or something. I don't want to promise, but I don't know how to do that. But I'm sure we can do it, or maybe we can get them to come. But if we can't get them to come, then having a webcast is something else that we will do. Because ultimately, I think it's – or FEMA and the Small Business Administration are the – are going to be the entities that make these loans available. And the idea, my idea, just my idea, is that what we would do is bridge, is, is provide some capital as bridge loans until those are available. Although what I've just read this morning is that the SBA is going to consider these loans within two to three weeks of application. So, I mean, that's really fast. So, anyway, that's sort of the situation, more information. And so, FEMA, um, the group payment that FEMA that's owned that, um, extensive that they extended the um, net won't get the money from FEMA right right away I, that that's what this program would be designed to fill that gap now now whether I we can't fill all of the gap but but, but it would be designed to presumably if FEMA is going to give you funds in two and a half or three months you know for two hundred fifty thousand dollars you might benefit from twenty five thousand dollars now and I think it, since it would be short-term bridge loans, I don't think charging interest or anything like that is, it would just, there's no need to do that. It's not a lot of money and it just makes things complicated. So anyway, th this is sort of an agenda for Thursday night's meeting. If you have other additions to the agenda of issues you'd like us to consider, um, uh, you can tell me now or you could tell me over the next two days. Um, and then of course, like anything, we will come back to the select board with a recommendation of whatever it is. And we'll come back immediately, you know, We'll come to some decision on Thursday. Please. So, what if the businesses aren't eligible for FEMA money? That that would be one. Yeah. So we discussed. The, yeah. So just if I, we we a couple of uh, on the EDC have already started to discuss that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I have my personal view on that, but yeah. something I like to consider too is just the uh, the different needs of different businesses. You know what the butcher needs and what a corporate needs is probably very different. You know um, what. The in needs, what other restaurants need compared to what a coffee shop needs could be very different. Well, I don't, yeah. And so just, I just consider, you know, the scope of what some places may need. Like some places may not be able to open until we have one of the breaks completely repaired. Right. You know, because the water level may not just be there. Um, so like that need may be a longer term, more serious need than um, a smaller shop. Okay. You know, I, I know businesses, some of them brought in their own water to do dishwashing, you know, but that's great. But a, a restaurant can't do that, you know, so yeah, they're going to be out longer. So what can we do for them? So just kind of have a, kind of a larger idea of how the needs could be different for different businesses. I think this actually using different words is really exactly the same question that Ray is asking. Yeah. 
Right. If FEMA, for example, doesn't consider that, yeah. what do we do? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, just to just since since you you've, asked, you've invited me, that, that, <laughs> my view is that FEMA has thought exactly about these questions hundreds of times, maybe thousands of times. They're tricky issues always, but I think the issues are always exactly the same in any community, and they've figured out how to draw a line. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to, what I think, it's two days from now, what I think I'm going to advocate with the EDC, and then just one vote, is that we should follow, that if it's eligible for FEMA, not if you get the FEMA money, because actually one thought is, look, if you're eligible for FEMA and they run out of money, you're still eligible for our program, but that we should use the FEMA eligibility requirements because they've figured out the difference between, you know, gee, I could really use this money because I could expand my business and we had a flood, these things happened, you know, now. I, and so I just have to trust. So I'm going to argue that we follow the FEMA guidelines because we can't do, we because they've thought about it a lot better. But, and that hopefully, I have to assume would take into account what you've just described. Hopefully. Well, yeah. the other thing is I'd be concerned with is, if FEMA doesn't fund businesses that are closed because of not water damage, but lack of water. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we, we could certainly, actually, you know what? Why don't I said we were going to have a webcast with the SBA, but can I say SBA slash FEMA? And maybe we can work together to figure out how, yeah. how, how to engage with FEMA on this. I think it sounds like these are the kind of questions yeah. that, that they could really help with. Yeah, I mean, that'll be, yeah, okay. I would think some of the larger businesses might have some business interruption insurance that would help them as well. And presumably yeah. FEMA is puts itself it's below insurance. I mean, yeah. not, not, not ahead of insurance. Yeah. Always below. Yeah, and your so. budget's obviously going to be impacted because of the closure of, you know, right. insurance. Right. Yeah. Um, it's 630. That meeting is it's Thursday. regular time. Thursday, yeah. Like our regular day and time, but not date. Yeah. And it will, it will be in person here if your family is still visiting. <laughs> so is that is that what you had wanted yeah, to? This is great. Yeah. Okay, please send me emails up until, I mean, I'm going to post, post this as an agenda late tonight, so it'll appear in the listserv, but we can always add issues. So if you or EDC members will add to this list, and I presume there's no issues we should take off the list a list. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks, John. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for raising this too. I, you know, I, we were moving on it, but not as quickly, and you caused us to move more quickly. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thanks. Hey. Am I the computer now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I will. I'll talk to you about moving wires at, at some point. I know. I can just ask send out it too. It's not a big deal. Usually, Nikki's on. Me today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next is, is a sewer permit. permit. Well, so that's on page 81. So the first one is 850C Rose Hill Road. This is to increase sewer usage. So they're just changing a apartment into a bed and breakfast. And that doesn't involve any additional fee, it appears. Any additional what, sorry? Fee. No, no, not right, not for the sewer, no. Okay. Then you want to do these all at once or one at a time? Right, I think one is. Okay. I'd move to approve this one. Okay. Second. All, all those in favor? Aye. Okay, the next one. Oh. Next is Olson. Olson. <clears throat> This one, I would assume, has a significant fee. There's no indication of it that I see, or maybe I'm- So increase of 442. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's on the back page. And there's no fee for this either? 
No, there is two thousand six hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. On page eighty six. I'd move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 61 Central. The address uh, is on Spay in Paris. Yeah. So again, the fee is $6,300. I'd move to approve. Second. Does Mark look at that? Yes, he's been up there, yeah. Okay. All those in, I just saw that. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those, no. Pass. Um, we're going to an executive session? Yeah. Minute, or we'll do that up. We'll do that up. Thank you. Uh, do you want to vote? Yeah. yeah. Can you get carry on your phone or? Oh, I can. Yeah. I can't hear you. I think you're muted. Sorry, Gary. So we just, just Thanks. said. Should we wait to reorganize the board till we have a new board member? I don't think so, because I don't think a new member would fill any of the roles. Then we can. If you want to do it now, that's fine. Reorganize now, then. So I'd nominate Susan for vice chair. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? Maybe opposed. Are you can oppose yourself. <laughs> you can't, you can't. Do we, need to, do we need to formally appoint Ray as chair? He's yes. been acting. Yeah. So I would move um, oh. Ray as the chair. Yeah. I would second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I know that I would have nominated somebody else. <laughs> okay. Um, approval of the minutes. Anyone want to look at the minutes? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All those in favor of approving the minutes? I was not here for May 2nd, so I'm going to abstain from that one. Other than that. Okay, so we'll vote on May 2nd first. All those in favor of May 2nd minutes? Aye. Aye. All those in favor of minutes from five. Huh? All in favor of the minutes 516, 523, 531, 531, and 620. All those in make a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. So. Motion made and approved. All those in favor of approving those minutes, say aye. 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 Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Meetings adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Um. The, the, the.